wishing to be heard, our first citizen is Ms. Deborah Wilcox. Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Ladies and gentlemen of this commission, my name is Deborah Wilcox and I live at 3240 Kelsey Circle. I am a new member of Lowndes County. My husband and I moved here and we moved here in December. We had previously bought a house a year ago last May, but we're only able to move this past December. We visited Lowndes County many, many times. My cousin had, uh, my husband has relatives here. He has, still does have a cousin, a couple of cousins that weren't here. When Florida got just too much for us, we decided to move here. We considered no other place because it was such a lovely little town. The people were so nice. And we didn't even look anywhere else. But we did not know about Valdosta's dirty little secret, that of dumping animals. Had we known that before we moved, we probably would have moved elsewhere. This animal cruelty is out of sight. It, it's just, it's unwarranted. There are so many cats out there. there. There are thousands and thousands. And the shelters, they take them in and they kill them. Then there's going to be another litter and another litter and another litter. Spay and neuter, control the population. Have the population controlled. That's the easiest and most cost effective way to address this issue. And it is an issue not only with the cats, but with the dogs. Uh, why is there no spay and neuter here at all? Why is the closest low-cost one all the way in Thomasville? We really, really need to have one here. We really, truly do. The ones that we have, uh, well, the, the shelters that we have, the Humane Society, why are they allowed to kill animals? Isn't that a no-kill shelter, or is it supposed to be? But yet it just came to my attention, they're putting down animals as well. I'm very well aware of the overpopulation, and I became aware of it very quickly when we moved here. Within a couple of weeks, I, I, I had no idea. I had never seen anything like this in my life. And I had come from small towns where there are ordinances, there are laws. You do not dump your animals. You have them spayed and neutered. You fix them. You take care of them. You don't just dump them. I, I, I don't know how to fix this problem except for something that might be a low-cost spay and neuter. And I don't understand why everybody's got to go to Thomasville. It just doesn't seem right. This is a growing community, and it's only going to get worse. It is, I don't know if, if, if y'all go down Chasey Shack Road, that, that's the one where we were coming back from last Christmas. There's four or five dogs that were just bones, just bones. Our dogs and our cats do not need to be starved to death. They need a chance to live and they need a chance for care. A spay and neuter would be more cost effective than putting all of these animals down. You have the cats out there, there's thousands of them. Next year there'll be millions. It needs to be taken care of as soon as possible to prevent any more. Um, it just seems like the dumping of these animals is condoned. It was on Facebook that two officers of the law in, in separate situations told these people to just go dump them someplace else. Another one who said to just shoot them. Well, that's preferable than starving to death, but is that an answer to the issue? I don't think so. I don't know what else to say. I, I just, I'm just abhorred 
of that situation here in this lovely, beautiful little community. There's such a black mark with those animals. And I'm hoping that you will come to some solution where we can take care of it in a civil and humane manner. Thank you very much. I appreciate you listening to me. Thank you, Mr. Collins.